All right, it's a Sunday morning, and just like every other Sunday morning here in Sonoma County, at least when I'm in town, this is where you'll find me. This is the Spring Hills Church, and Spring Hills is the church that I've been coming to for years, and it's a non-denominational Christian church. They have three services every week. They have a service on Saturday night, I think at uh, 5.30, and then they have two services on Sunday. And, you know, about 15 years ago when I became born again, I started my church search, if you will. And I started going to several different churches. And for whatever reason, uh, this is the church that stuck with me. Well, I really shouldn't say for whatever reason. I know the reason. The people that run this church, uh, Pastor Brett, and, uh, and then there's Jim, Pastor Jim, and then there's uh, Glenn, who is the music minister. Um, just incredible people. I, I can't even put into words um, how much admiration I have for, for what they put together here. And if you're looking for a great place to worship in Sonoma County, heck, Northern California. If you're looking for a great place to worship in Northern California, Spring Hills is the place that you want to go. So with all that being said, let's go on inside and enjoy a nice Sunday service. <laughs> Okay, so when you come inside, there's always somebody there to greet you. And you can see there's a great crowd here today, and they've got a beautiful Christmas tree decorated. And then just inside, they always have uh, refreshments for everybody. So this is kind of in between masses. They have a 9.30 mass and an 11 mass. And I come to the 11 mass every day. So you can see they've got all the goodies there and everybody just kind of mingles and spends time uh, chatting with each other. All right, so this is the man. This is Glenn Schultz. Glenn is the, you're the music minister here at Spring Hills, right? That's correct. That's right, and uh, I was just telling everybody on the video that you, you won't find a better Christian band than here at Spring Hills. Every week you guys really put on a great performance. Oh, thank you. Not bad for a Canadian. You're a Canadian, aren't you? I am a Canadian, <laughs> born and raised in Calgary, Alberta. All right. And how many musical? You, you other than being a great vocal, uh, you know, vocalist. I guess a singer, if you want to just call it that. You play guitar. I play guitar and violin, mainly. Um, and then I noodle around on a couple other instruments, but I wouldn't really call it music. Uh huh. <laughs> Mandolin and piano and stuff, but basically, uh, my first instrument was violin. My parents forced me to. Uh, practice and do all that instead of being out there playing football with my friends. But uh, now you have some little. You have a. I, I know you at least have a son, right? I have a son, a four-year-old son named Cooper, and a six-year-old daughter named Julia, and a beautiful wife named Tanya. And uh, Tanya and I are both from Canada, and our, so we're both Canadians, and our kids are both Americans. And are are the kids going to follow in uh, Dad's footsteps? Is is uh, your son or daughter? Are they? playing any instruments or my daughter's learning the piano and my son uh, likes to beat on any flat surface any flat surface huh all right so listen today uh, you're going to be performing for us uh, Christmas music some Christmas songs a lot of Christmas carols today do you hear what I hear oh come oh come Emmanuel I heard the bells on Christmas Day it's going to be good fantastic all right looking forward to it thanks for uh, visiting with us all right you're welcome here's a nice view of the worship center the main worship center here at Spring Hills very very spacious you can seat several hundred people easily and next week they're going to be having their annual Christmas services they uh, have three days of services probably two or three services each day and it's quite a show just fantastic last year I sat out there in the audience on Christmas Eve and just tears were coming to my eyes the music was so beautiful so right now the worship center is filling up about another 10 minutes before the service starts and a lot of people as we saw are out in the uh, out in the lobby there good morning everybody welcome to spring hills i know you only have one week till christmas so let's sing some canoes Stand up and sing. I set the night into the little lamb. Do you see what I see? 
message series about Christmas and Christmas uh, God's gifts to us and uh, this week we're going to have seven Christmas Eve services and they are located uh, listed there on the screen there the, the different times will be Thursday Friday and Saturday it's going to be a great time we're going to have um, of course a great uh, service here with a message of music and other surprises and stuff and we're going to have the Christmas town going the live nativity is going to happen again I believe the camels coming back on Saturday so if you're into camels Saturday is your time so, uh, hey, but in order to make this a great experience for everybody, and so that everybody can have a seat, we really would appreciate you grabbing your free ticket on the way out in the lobby. And uh, when you do that, just uh, don't take enough for you and your family, but think of your coworkers, your neighbors, anybody else that, uh, that you think might be interested. Because a lot of people don't come to church because they've never been invited. So don't assume that your neighbor or your coworker doesn't want to come, but uh, assume that they do, and, uh, and take that approach. And let's, uh, let's see what God can do this, this week. Also, in order to uh, have seven services, it takes a lot of help to pull that off. And if you're able to pull out your Christmas volunteer flyer in your program right now, if you take a second to pull it out, take a look at it. There's some great opportunities to serve. Uh, obviously, three different uh, days to serve. So hopefully one of those works for you, and you can uh, check that off and put it in your box. And that'd be great for you to help. We appreciate it. Also, um, we are going to have a service next Sunday, Christmas Day. One service will be at 1030. And apparently it would be different than the other seven. It's not a video of Best of Spring Hills, is it? Well, my message is going to be exactly the same. No. Uh, if you come out Christmas Day, we'll promise you a whole different service. So uh, Christmas Day is going to be a great time of worship. And, um, you know, Jim, I know you only have a couple of presents, so you should be here. And uh, some of the rest of you, uh, 
you know, if it gets over early and things aren't just happening, then come on over. We'd love to have you. You came to give us peace in our hearts and to bring peace on earth so that all who believe in him may have peace and may have everlasting life with God the Father. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. culture is just groping in darkness for direction and it's crazy some of the places people in our culture where they go for direction 900 numbers some lady reading horoscopes reading palms all these crazy things you know don't waste your money on that <coughs> calling some person that doesn't even know you well let me check your constellation you know what are you again I have people say it all the time oh, you're an Aquarius oh we get along well together like what what are you talking about? 
I don't even know what I am. What do you mean we get along? Oh, we have some conflict. Oh, we do. Okay, well, that's because you're what? Yes. Hey, will you stop all that? Stop. Oh. Listen, Jesus Christ is the revelation of the person of God. It's God become human, rose from the dead, who wants a relationship with you. When you know him, his wisdom and direction guides your life. You don't need that stuff. You need him. My wife uh, ran into somebody. I, I, it's, a, it's a friend, but it's not the kind of friend where she has lunch with this person. And really, uh, we know her, and, but uh, don't spend a lot of time with her. That's all. But uh, <laughs> is that like a huge disclaimer or something? Is that what that was? Right. <laughs> Have I sufficiently separated myself from what I'm about to tell you about this friend? Okay. Anyway, she, she told my wife that she's getting into fire walking now. You know, walking on coals. And uh, she's doing it, and it's, she's, it's all mind over matter. You know, you just control your mind. You can walk on coals. And that gives you courage to face life. Because after all, you know, your mind has overcome the fear of the heat and all. And you're, you're walking on fire, man. You're... Now you're ready to live your life. She even told my wife on uh, New Year's Eve, she's throwing a big party. And uh, she's going to invite all her friends, and she's going to teach them that night how to walk on coals. I don't know how much you have to drink before you walk on coals. <laughs> I thought, come on, how much darkness is there? You don't need to walk on coals. You just need the resurrected Christ in your life for guidance and strength and courage. You need to know him. Jesus is the light of my life. Jesus needs to be the light of your life.
of this world. So go tell your story. Invite your friends, your family, your co-workers to church this Christmas so that they can hear the good news of Jesus Christ and that they can invite the light of the world into their lives as well. If you would like some prayer, there's a prayer team over here that would love to pray with you. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you at Christmas Eve services. God bless. So that was a great service. And now we'll head on outside and enjoy another wonderful Sunday in Sonoma County.